Hey guys, welcome back to another Halo Theory video. Today we are discussing how and if Cortana will reunite the religious covenant that we saw in the original Human Covenant War. But before we get into this, I want to say a major thank you to all you guys for helping me reach 6,000 subscribers. I feel like I'm thanking you guys for hitting major milestones so frequently at the moment and it's amazing that all this time and effort that I'm putting into videos is paying off and so many people are enjoying my videos which is fantastic. So to all you newcomers and all you people that have been here for a long time, thank you, thank you a lot. Okay, so on to the actual matters at hand. Today I have two theories for you. Both I think are incredibly plausible and are both likely to happen if a religious covenant is reunited. So without further ado, let's get into the first theory. This theory focuses primarily on what I think is the most obvious way that the Covenant could reform underneath Cortana, and that is through blackmailing and bullying. Now this is pretty prominent at the end of Halo 5, during a quote that Cortana says where I've already shown it on many videos before, where she calls out to all these races in the galaxy, many of which were in the previous Covenant and are currently not in the games, and basically says that if they join together under her rule, then they will have infinite resources, they'll live very prosperously and have a very prosperous future as a species. However, if they don't, they'll basically be eradicated. In my opinion, this is a really easy way for many members of the old San Shayumed Covenant to reunite, not under their own volition, but Cortana's, because they're almost being forced to do it, otherwise their species is obviously going to get eradicated. Once reunited, they also have a goal. They aren't reunited for no reason, they have an actual goal to work towards, which is defending Cortana and defeating her adversaries. This refers back to a part of the quote that Cortana says at the end of Halo 5, where when speaking to these species, she refers to humanity and the Sword of Sanghelios indirectly as groups who oppose her, and any members of the remaining species who fought in the Human Covenant War will want revenge against humanity and the Sword of Sanghelios. So joining together with Cortana, who already has a very large army of Prometheans on her side, is a very easy way for all of these members of these species to get revenge, and therefore makes it, in my opinion, very likely for them to rejoin and try and get revenge. Now, this would offer some really interesting insight into the cognitive dissonance that goes on with the leaders, whether they be Sangheili, Jirohane, Sanshayum, even Kigyar, the leaders of this new covenant, when, for example, they issue an order for a squad of brutes to go and execute a squad of humans. On one side of the debate, they may want to order them to go and kill a squad of humans because they feel annoyed and angry that their race had previously eradicated so many of theirs. However, on the other side, they may not want to harm humanity after the last defeat that they suffered by them, in fears that it may trigger them to attack them again and destroy them again. It could offer some really interesting insight into the internal debates that go on with these, these leaders. Because don't forget, if this was the way the Covenant was reunited, it wouldn't solely be their own decision. So my second theory is a more deep and ideological one, and this is relating to the Covenant possibly seeing Cortana as a religious deity, similar to how they used to see the foreigners as deities. So as we know, the original Covenant saw the foreigners as gods and worshipped them and based their entire Covenant off of them. They believed that if they lit the rings like the foreigners did, they would also transcend to become gods like the foreigners did. In my opinion, Cortana could be quite easily seen as a religious deity and god, similar to how the foreigners were. Think about it, she has access to the domain, which the Covenant may deem similar to the Halo Rings. It gives her almost total power over the galaxy, however this time not through power, but through knowledge. However, she also seems to have control of at least one Halo installation, if not most of them, due to the Guardians controlling the galaxy, which gives her the power over the galaxy, as well as the knowledge control over the galaxy. And finally, she also has control over the Prometheans, which could hold some significance with members of the Old Covenant, because obviously the Prometheans are part of the foreigner Ecumene, therefore she technically has foreigners with her too, so she pretty much has everything that the Old Covenant used to worship. All these factors could easily cause them to find consolidation in Cortana, thus reuniting a religious covenant to protect Cortana and destroy her adversaries, who just happen to be the Old Covenant's primary enemies. Now, the way I see it, if a religious covenant was to be reunited, it would be through a mixture of both of these theories. The way I can see it going down is these species that are still really weak, or at least a couple of these species, Jiral Hane and San Shayum specifically, that are still relatively weak following on from the Human Covenant War, 
will have no other choice but to sort of submit to Cortana and just go under her ruling. Then, they'll realise that Cortana is very similar to the gods that they used to worship and the gods that they base their entire covenant off, which would make them sort of zealous and very religious again. And then they'll realise that what they're actually protecting Cortana from are their old enemies that actually defeated them. So that could, in my opinion, quite easily lead to the reformation of a religious covenant and cause an almost second human covenant war. Now, I want to hear your guys' theories about this in the comments down below. I read every single comment and try to reply to every single comment. So if you comment something, it is very likely that you'll get a reply and we can start a discussion. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please leave a like, helps me out massively, and if by chance you're new here, why not subscribe? I make a lot of videos like this and if you enjoyed this, then it's likely you're going to enjoy my other content. Finally, before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to Covenant Canon on Facebook and recommend you check out their page. They post multiple small biographies and lore about pretty much anything within the Covenant, from Sangheili ranks and titles, to variants of AA guns, and are definitely worth liking. So next lunch break, you can sit down with a nice burrito and enjoy some midday Halo lore. Also, when you like their page, be sure to tell them Hidden Xperia sent you. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be coming up in the next couple of days, and it will be a summary of every single piece of knowledge and information that we know about Halo Wars 2 so far.